Alpha of the 147th out of Aberdeen was tasked with coming to Romania for annual training this year. Um, and we're working with the Vardy, the um, main body of active duty Army, in conjunction with 5th of 113th Field Artillery to show them what our differences are and our similarities, what we're capable of with our launchers and their HIMARS and conduct operations for field artillery. We brought our own uh, observer controllers uh, to assess our training. Um, the active duty counterparts that are here uh, were more focused on the exercise itself and weren't, weren't seeing it as much a, a large scale training exercise. They were focused on the live fire event. We took advantage of it as we were coming to essentially train to deploy, establish a, an area in a foreign country and be able to execute missions. And so we really leaned forward in that, trying to seek out training opportunities that were here with the land that was available to us. You know, movements, night movements, not just being so focused on the fire, but the overall piece of our training on our different metal tasks that we would have to accomplish. And so we were really aggressive in that stance that we needed to push our training. It wasn't just to get ready to live fire, because as artillery, we we're really good at live firing, but it's the survivability, the moving, and the communicating that can sometimes struggle. And so I was really pleased with the overall performance of the unit as we've gone through and, and watched the growth of my subordinate leaders as they've gained confidence in their skills and understanding the importance of those survivabilities and moving and communicating and really stretching our capabilities. particular unit, what we do is occupy an area and when we receive fire missions we pull out there and conduct those fire missions and then move back to the area of operations. The uniqueness of this mission was we haven't done this since I believe back in the 80s. I mean. It, it's about as close to a deployment as you can get without actually deploying from getting your equipment ready, your soldiers ready, getting everything here, getting your soldiers here safely, moving to the field, conducting field operations, all the way to moving back to the rear, getting everybody on the plane to get home. We train all of our guys that, that are in the launcher, the drivers, the gunners, and the chiefs, to swap around, make sure everybody knows everybody's job in there. Um, that way, when we do get called up, everybody's proficient in any job. Very much enjoyed having Alpha Battery here with us. Um, this used to be an MLRS unit, and so um, I think a lot of our guys had some flashbacks to the good old days of being on the tracks. So I think we understood how they operate, which was good, but they brought a new and different capability. And especially coming from another state, a different perspective on training and on how they operate, which I think we all were able to mutually learn from. We learned a lot about communications. They had some good training practices that we were able to see and look at emulating in the future. And I think they got a lot out of working with us and some of the things we've been doing around communications and command and control that they felt were good practices they could bring back. So it's been a very mutually beneficial partnership. This is really the demonstration. There's gonna be several heads of state here, defense ministers, to show how we can combine effects on the battlefield. And it's pretty impressive. You don't get to see this much hardware in one place, concentrating effects in one spot with uh, helicopter gunships, uh, fixed wing aircraft, and then just a seemingly endless line of fighting vehicles and armor all attacking. It really shows what we can bring to the battlefield as a combined force.